And good evening now. Thanks for being with us. I'm J.R. Barry. And I'm Darcy Strickland. We're going to start tonight in Clarendon County where there is a large police presence near the location where the body of USC student Samantha Josephson was found. We're told they are looking for additional articles related to that criminal case. News 19's Lauren Thomas is in New Zion tonight with the latest details. Lauren, what's going on out there? Well, we just saw SLED officials, DNR officials, and Clarendon County Sheriff's officials leaving this area. Uh, and you can see there is a pond behind in this wooded area. That's where they've been searching here off of Black Bottom Road in Clarendon County. What we were told earlier is that uh, they were looking for additional articles pertaining to Samantha Josephson's murder. So, uh, but right now they just left less than two minutes ago. We had to move out of the way and then jump back into place here. But uh, what we have learned so far is that they were searching, um, uh, came out here this afternoon and been searching this area for some time um, and wrapped up. Um, I asked if they found anything. They, they want us to talk to, uh, to PIO officials who aren't out here at this time. Um, but what we have learned so far is that they uh, have been searching in this area again for additional articles pertaining to Samantha Josephson's murder. Uh, and Knowlton uh, Road, which is up the street, um, about an um, a mile away from where we are now is where the 21 year old was found earlier uh, last week. But right now we don't have any more information other than a search was going on uh, for those additional articles pertaining to her murder. Um, and law enforcement have left this area. This area is clear now here on Black Bottom Road. JR Darcy. Lauren, before you leave there, uh, we've had a lot of speculation on the internet about what they're doing out there tonight. They tell us they're looking for additional articles. You asked if they found anything. Did you see them bag anything and take anything from the scene or 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 what? We did see someone with a, a brown paper bag. What was in that bag, we don't know. Uh, but this was with a diver who had come out and, and as well as another official who was in, in plain clothing um, who had that brown bag. But we did see divers earlier. Um, and at this point, we don't know what they found. We're going to just keep, uh, keep our uh, ears to the ground as we continue, as they continue this investigation as well. News 19's Lauren Thomas reporting for us in the New Zion community in Clarendon County. Lauren, thank you. Well, Columbia police say that Samantha Josephson got into a car driven by 24 year old Nathaniel Rowland, who's now charged with murder. According to an incident report, officers stopped Rowland because his car was listed as being connected to the missing person's case. The officer that stopped him says a marijuana smell was coming from the vehicle and they asked him to get out of the car. They say he tried to run away, but they were eventually able to catch him.